Brothers and sisters, this coming Sunday, Easter Sunday, we will have the privilege of participating in communion together. Even though we are apart, we will be having communion virtually, as it were. Um, and so you are invited this week especially to prepare your hearts. Not only is it Communion Sunday, of course, it is Easter Sunday. And so just like communion throughout the ages and throughout our lives, it is a a bitter, sweet uh, experience. It is bitter because we are reminded that the reason that Jesus had to die on Good Friday is that he was he was helping bridge the gap. No, he was bridging the gap between our sin and God's righteous requirements for our lives. And so there is the bitterness that he who loved us most of all had to die because of us. The sweetness comes in in the fact that he did. He did die for us. He loves us that much. One of my favorite theologians, Karl Barth, whom you've heard me talk about before, says that in Jesus, God throws his arms open and says his eternal yes to us. Jesus is the eternal yes to us. All we need do is receive, accept, believe in Jesus and his gift of salvation. So, brothers and sisters, prepare your hearts. Think about that sacrifice that Jesus made and think about the difference that it makes also in our lives. During this week, you'll need to also provide for yourself, get however you would like to do, um, either some wine or some grape juice and have that ready for, uh, have that on hand for when communion is happening, and uh, some bread or wafers or crackers or whatever works best for you. Don't be too nervous about it. There's nothing magical about it. God's grace is extended to us in all things, including, including in the preparation of the elements. But do take the opportunity to, to prepare those elements prayerfully, contemplatively. Talk about it with your family or whomever else may be around. Talk about what these elements mean, how they represent the body and blood of Jesus Christ, how they signify Jesus' new covenant with us, how they remind us not only of Jesus' sacrifice, but also of uh, God's uh, protection of the people of Israel way back when he was bringing them out of Egypt and he passed over the children, the firstborn children of the people of Israel because of the sacrificial lamb. Take your time, prepare those elements, think about communion, and join us next week, Easter Sunday, for communion together. Let us pray. Father in heaven, during this week to come, please prepare our hearts and minds for doing, for partaking in communion with you. Thank you, O oh God, that you host us and that we, together with believers throughout this world, are attending the feast that you have prepared for us. Help us to talk about what communion means with our families. Help us to pray and think together and help us to prepare those elements with prayer. Lord, please guide us in this and in all things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, a reminder that children uh, are welcome to partake in communion in your homes as we are doing this, as long as you have talked with them and they understand what it is that they are doing. For we don't want 
anyone to take a, uh, partake of communion as if it was just a treat or some, um, some unimportant thing. Um, so talk about communion with your children. If you are, if they're asking questions, if they would like to participate, talk about that with them. Be blessed, and we will, uh, we will see you for communion, Lord willing, next week.